Hey folks and uh, welcome back to another video on the weird and wonderful Fabia saloon or sedan depending on where you are in the world. Uh, this is just going to be an overview and a look at the car and a bit of a rundown of the modifications and upgrades that it will be receiving over the months, upcoming months I suppose. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty clean looking car actually. Considering uh, the life it's had and where it had been sitting for the past six or so years, I can't quite remember um, when the chap rescued it. I will link his YouTube into the description. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Paint's pretty good. Uh, it's your very, very common silver that you see on most Fabias. Um, I can't remember the correct name. I think it's Stardust Silver or something like that. Uh, but yeah, a cheap colour. Most of them were this colour. Most classics were. Uh, we've got a hatchback under that cover and as you can probably tell it is also silver um, but yeah the estates and saloons they're pretty much the same underneath same floor pan and everything same rear bumper but they do have the doors from the hatchback which as you can probably see there that is the hatchback and the door resembles the same shape that's the back quarter panel um, yeah, they're literally just a 50-50 mashup of estate and hatchback. You combine the two and this is what you end up with. <laughs> uh, yeah, the interior is very, very clean. It's in very good condition. It will be getting replaced with the one out of uh, the SDI that I mentioned in the last video, uh, which was my dad's daily until the timing belt snapped. We... Uh, decided not to fix the car due to the fact it was extremely rusty underneath and I point blank, blank refused to weld the bloody thing again <laughs> it's, it already had quite a bit of welding for the last MOT so yeah it will be getting broken up and all the nice bits put into this like it's got the facelift dash and everything in it which this has got the old style dash um, there is a difference which I will show you in fact hang on yeah, just for what it's worth, this is the facelift dash in my 2007 Fabia Bohemia. As you can see, nice smooth surface with a bit up there, ribbed for extra pleasure. Uh, and yeah, it's got a black bottom half of the dashboard. Uh, won't be replacing this, be keeping it grey in the saloon. Um, but yeah, the top part is different different airbag emblem which is there um, yeah just a more, more cleaner sleeker looking dash it's soft touch as well which is nice um, and by the powers of shonky video editing we're back in the saloon which has the old style dash which is hard touch it's rough you could probably strike a match off that it's all the same right through um, the camera hates focusing on it and yeah it's got the old style airbag emblem there where I think the hatchback was uh, sorry the facelift one was here little detail yep I know but it just actually really lifts the interior um, it's very very hard to touch it feels quite cheap um, whereas the newer style is a lot nicer but probably going to keep the grey bottom half. I don't know. I'll ask my dad on that one because at the end of the day, it's his car. Um, but we do have black dash pieces. In fact, you can see them, some of them, sitting right up there. There's a glove box. Uh, zoom in the wrong way. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that'll get done. Um, yeah, rest of the interior, all pretty good. The Ambiente seats will be going into it. Uh, do you want to upgrade it to an elegance as well so uh, swap the interior obviously that's getting changed out uh, put the wiring in from an elegance estate which unfortunately I don't have at the moment uh, which will give rear park assist all the nice things um, everything I mentioned in the other video which I can't quite remember now <laughs> never got them as a elegance in the UK you could only get them as the uh, classic which this is and the comfort 
on the early models and then the Ambiente on the slightly newer models. Uh, but yeah, all is well inside. It has your typical leaking rear door seals, which to be honest, if your Skoda doesn't do this, it's not a Skoda. Uh, Fabia, at least. Yeah, all good, all nice and clean. Not really much to show you. Rear of the car. Uh, this is where the weirdness is. Uh, has damaged rear bumper there, as you can see. Uh, but that's not a big issue because I've got another bumper right there. That green one, which will get painted and probably fitted. And that one came off my green estate. So, uh, yeah. The, yeah, these do use the rear lights and bumpers of the estate, as I mentioned. I think I mentioned. The boot has, or trunk, again, depending on what you want to call it. Pretty big, same sort of size as the estate. People say they're actually bigger inside. I can't see that myself, but okay. It's got some crap in the boot. Um, yeah, all good in here, all nice. Pretty decent, pretty good car. Very much looking forward to uh, getting it all done up. Bit of the usual rust starting under here, which they all seem to do. I have seen them get to the stage where uh, the plate lights fall out and they rot right up here. Uh, someone I used to know with a Fabia who really did not look after it, uh, hers did exactly the same and um, yeah, it was it was an absolute shed. So this will be getting repaired before it turns into anything bad. Um, there is also the plans further down the line to completely respray the car and actually get it to show worthy condition, which uh, isn't unknown for us because my own Fabia, I resprayed it because I just wanted, it had a lot of scratches and it looked pretty crap. So I've got a mate who does professional vehicle respraying, so that's always handy. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you a quick look at the engine as well. There it is. It's the old 1416 valve. Um, with the leaf stuck to it. I don't know how that managed to stay on there. <laughs> um, yeah, good engine. Runs really well. It's been fully serviced and everything by the previous owner. Uh, there's videos on his channel about that. You can see him doing everything. New belts and things, which is nice. Uh, yeah, all good under here. Has a couple of issues. One of them is the Lambda sensor, which will be getting replaced. And a wheel speed sensor, I believe. Need to have a look and see which one it is. Because uh, occasionally the ABS light comes on uh, and the engine light is on as well. Hence the reason I've got my diagnostics sitting there. So I'm gonna plug it in and have a, have a nosy at it. Um, but yeah, everything else, absolutely bang on. It's a good car. A nice base to get a lot of work and upgrades done to it so yeah also another thing I will mention the front suspension will be getting replaced with the setup from the Fabia SDI that I mentioned because it has all been polybushed and has a thicker anti-wall bar on it so that will greatly improve the handling so that'll be getting done as well 